So this is a couple of cylinders from a Mercedes-Benz convertible. These are quite an easy cylinder to pull apart and reseal the, the tricky part inside there. Inside there, you can see that circlip. So the only way to get that out easily is to measure down to see how deep it is from the top edge here and then drill a little hole in the side obviously making sure that that clip is not in the way you then push the clip around and then you can actually push something into that hole and pop the clip out obviously when you're drilling and when you're doing the pushing of the clip make sure this is all the way down not up in the air like that because if you overshoot when you're drilling you'll drill into the rod and you mark the rod so make sure the rod is all the way down before you start your drilling so what we're going to try and do is push that clip around okay i don't know if anyone saw that but i've just pushed that clip around to there so there's now actually a gap between here and here. You can actually see that or not. In this express? No. There's a gap there. I've already marked the hole and then I'll drill a hole. Carefully. But remember, before you start drilling, push this all the way down. So that if you overshoot and slip, I'm using a very small drill, it's a three millimeter diameter drill, drill bit. It's pretty high quality aluminium. <laughs> Or a really blunt drill. There we go. Now you can lift that back up. Push that clip around. This guy's just like that. Here. Don't put it that way because you risk crushing those in. So always, if you're going to put it in the vise, hold it that way. And the same as before. Into the tug, it will come apart. This one's definitely in really bad condition. This one has definitely failed. These seals here we don't normally touch. Uh, so what you need to do is take get this, this rod out of this clevis here. See that little deformation there? That potentially could be a problem. So we may need to actually drill that out to allow this rod to come out. This deformation here. Yeah. There may even be one on the other side there as well. Let's have a look. Yeah, that deformation is on both sides there. So the clevises on these Mercedes-Benz cylinders, they're, they're not screwed in. You can actually see there's a little, well, there's the other end of this black rod. But this part here is actually a, a mechanical deformation on both sides so they've pushed this together and, and then they've actually used some sort of crushing tool crimping tool to actually deform the face here and here to actually locate this through deformation onto this rod this rod at the end will probably have a groove machined into it so we're gonna have to drill this out sorry the machine's been a bit dicky focusing Oh, there we go. I'm going to measure the width of this and I'm going to have to get a drill probably close to that diameter. Already center popped it and then actually drill down 
drill down and then with a very thin pin push down through the top there to knock them out and split them apart because I need to do that so I can get this off and I can get that seal off and put a new seal on as I said before we don't touch these seals this is the only thing that does all the work and that's just the support and keeps the dust out anyway this one's not bad but the other one the other one you can see the other seal has actually failed and that's probably why it's been leaking oil okay so we'll, we'll drill these press these out knock that out push that out put a new one of these in put a new one of these in then we'll think about what we're going to do here generally we just uh, silver solder them yeah putting a wet rag around there um, and then we paint them so I've got this in the lathe not in the lathe I've got this in the vertical mill I'm using the vertical milling attachment as a drill at the moment uh, and um, look at that it's just where you want it to be the drill right in front of the camera let's try again there we go I think that should be deep enough on both sides so all I need to do now is put it in the vise across here without hitting that maybe in some shaft jaws hold the shaft jaws across there and then put a pin down there and hopefully knock this pin out so I've uh, separated these By actually hitting down through there with a pin punch to, to actually push this out. Use the pin punch that I modified to go down through there and actually push it, push that out. That's the seal we removed. It's like a backing or support washer. We remove that as well there is a little radius there the radius needs to point towards the front um, again that's the seal there there are some numbers there if I can get those numbers off there I, it just saves me a bit of time in actually measuring things up if I can see some numbers but it's, uh, you can see but if you look carefully you can actually see nine dash 16 yeah so it's 9 on the ball 16 on the OD now I think that's a 4 which means the 4 millimeters is the height measure the rod diameter in this case very unusual you know, close to 9 millimeters Mercedes does that decide to use their own special balls measure the ball where the actual seal is going to sit down in there it's measuring 15.8 it's probably a 16 millimeter ball these verniers get dropped a hell of a lot let me get something a little more accurate measure the ball they are 16 16 millimeters Okay. So a little trick, if these have actually, if you know that something's not measuring properly, it means these have actually been dropped, they've actually fallen and hit. What we do on all our verniers that are no longer accurate, especially across the internals, we actually ground a, grind a flat into them so when someone picks them up, they know not to use the internals because they're out. Usually the internals quite durable, but yeah. That's obviously got about a 0.2 or a 0.4, 0.2 millimeter error. 
So I'm going to grind a flat on those which tells the next person who picks them up. Don't use them for measuring internals, only use them for measuring externals. Just like that. So the next person who picks these up, as soon as they see a flat here rather than a, a point like that, they're going to know there's something wrong with those and they shouldn't be measuring any, shouldn't be measuring any internal diameters with that. So we're ready to, we've got some new seals. So the new seals need to go down that way. So the V always facing the pressure. This seal and this seal here, this seal here will take the pressure as it's extending. And this seal, seal here actually holds the oil from leaking out while this is actually moving up and down. Yeah, so literally this is what's called a a gland seal or a rod seal. It actually seals a rod up against the inside diameter of the barrel to stop leaks. There's a bit of a sharp shoulder there so as we assemble these we need to be a little bit careful. Here we use this Worth product HHS2000. Uh, it's like a synthetic spray grease. Very good at assisting with assembly. Groove or the V always facing the pressure. Again check that there's no sharp edge on there. You don't want sharp edges. Sharp edges will cut or damage your seals. Again this thing here has a radius. Make sure the radius is pointing up. So that will support the piston. And then it's just a matter of installing all this back in here. A little bit of spray lube. Again, you've got to get this piston into the bore without damaging it. I'm going to put that in the vise to finish that off. Again, all the tools you're using. These are O-ring picks. That's an O-ring pick. They help you with assembly. There is an internal groove there we've got to get past. Put your pass there. Use this to push us down. This needs to be pushed down. Make sure that's pushed down enough, like that. And then get your circlip. Sometimes going easy and sometimes a total pain in the butt. So, whoops. Trying to work around the camera here. So that's in. Right, so that's one. That's the second one. Same thing again. Lubricate. 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 Devastated. Well, that's in. First circle clip went in easy. Let's see if the second circle clip can go in as easy. It's actually engineered, if you look carefully, there's actually like a lead-in taper that actually allows the, um, the circlip to go in. So all we now need to do is fit that on there, and 
and actually we can actually weld it on with a little bit of silver solder uh, and we'll wrap it with wet rag around here so that the heat doesn't transfer and destroy these new seals we've just put in so this is the final product after welding and painting before we actually weld or do any painting we actually will pressure test the cylinder in both directions to about a thousand psi uh, we'll then uh, wrap a wet strip of rag around the aluminium barrel and also around the rod as well so that heat transfer is minimized and we use silver solder we use a 45 percent silver in our silver solder uh, that's it guys uh, this is too hard for you to do by yourselves uh, you can contact us if you're in Australia send them to us and we'll do them for you hydraulic.online we're on the Gold Coast Queensland uh, you can ship to us and we ship back